Hey bus converters, welcome back to my show. This is the show where I do stuff on the bus and today we did stuff on the bus. <laughs> it was a one piece of wood day so far. I'm still working. I'm, I'm not gonna quit. I'm never gonna quit. Anyways, here's our one piece of wood for the day. And this, my good friends, is the refrigerator cabinet. What I did, if you saw in my previous video about how I built my cabinets, I scribed the top of that. I even basically scribed the whole side because it's not completely square. And then I pocket screwed all over the place. And then it's also gonna get screwed into these cabinets. So my one big question is really how much clearance do I need on the side for the refrigerator door? Because I don't know if it's a zero clearance refrigerator door and as you can see it's a built-in cabinet thing that we're going for. So I'm either gonna have the fridge come out enough to have the door open or I'm going to allow enough clearance. So I'm gonna cut this piece I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it, and then I'm going to leave it there till the refrigerator gets here. I'm just reusing my template over and over again, and I'm scribing it each time to get the exact dimensions for where we are. Yes. template pretty good and now I'm gonna transfer it onto the actual wall. Hey look at me I'm wearing PPE. Make your jigsaw cut upside down because the cleaner cut is on the bottom. Leave that line that you made because this line is the perfect arch. And you with your jigsaw, you can't do a perfect cut. So leave this line and then sand to the line. chilly outside. Nate just got here. Nate, look! look. Nate. Hi. Nate is disappointed in me because it's 10.30 and he just got here and I haven't done any work yet. That's yeah. my boy right there. Keeping his boss in line. Yeah. I'm not his boss or anything. Yeah. Just... Oh, uh, ooh, okay. Saucy. Alright, let me show you what I did though yesterday. Yeah. Refrigerator cabinet, my man. Nice. Thanks. So we're going to make our last three-quarter inch plywood wall, which is going to be the outside, the kitchen side of the pantry. Look, Nate's got shorts and t-shirt on, and he's fine. And I'm wearing long sleeve shirt and pants. You're making me look like a wuss, Nate. So Nate, mm. I just posted that video where we made the back bulkhead and yeah. we scribed for the first time. Mm. And somebody gave me this great tip. If you put a flat washer on your pencil, it'll be like, because this is rounded, it's gonna be consistent the whole way. We'll see how this works. This is probably a way better plan. So. Yeah, so I like that washer idea. That worked out really well. Nate has cleaned off most of the pencil lines with denatured alcohol. If you wanna clean pencil lines, denatured alcohol does the trick. We have our last three quarter inch plywood wall to put up. Um, I wanted to mention something. So I don't think I've ever had enough for the patience to fill in the process, but that took that piece of wood took me like maybe three hours because you have to scribe the top. You've got to sort of guesstimate the height. So I've been going on the taller side, like the tighter sides. I have to keep adjusting my piece of wood as I push it into the wall. And then when it hits the wall, the wall is not perfectly square, probably because of the spray foam at the bottom of the wall. So then I have to start scribing the side that touches the wall and then adjusting the top. So basically, I do small adjustments of the top and the side with the sandpaper. And that's how I get a tight fit. Like this one over here, you know, it's like perfect because I probably spent three hours on it. It's ridiculous. Nova wants to say goodbye. You leaving, Nomi's? Hi. 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 You going to a birthday party? The 
last piece of wall. Plywood wall. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not the last wall. Oh darn it. Go like this. Boom. Oh, that's a good one. Then I gotta hammer it. Hammer it. Pretty tight. <laughs> Be my square. Okay then. Goodish. We're putting this in. Alright, good. Yeah, I know. Alright, so through great labor, I think we got this straight and mostly square. I think we're about as close as we're gonna get. The big issue is that these kitchens are exactly 60 inches long, both of them. So we need them to line up with each other over here. So there's that. Hey Nate, so check it out. Now that this is screwed in, see how it's really tight? Yeah. I guess that was worth three hours of messing around? Hmm. I hope so. No. It's not? No. Okay.